God, I wish I could close my eyes for a while. John Doe, he's up. Hi there. I'm Dr. Harding. Do you know where you are? Hospital. That's right. Do you remember what happened? You were shot in the head. It's all right. It's okay. it's okay. Look, we don't know your name. Can you tell me who you are? How about where you live? Don't worry. That's why you're here. We're going to help you. your wife, Candace. You remember me, don't you, Jimmy? Jimmy? Last name, Stanton. It's better than John Doe. I, I brought some pictures. The doctor said it might help. This is us in Hawaii. We were on our honeymoon. Oh, this is you after a six-pack on New Year's Eve. You're really funny. <laughs> Any of this come back to you? No. Well, look, it doesn't mean that it won't. But I'm not going to lie to you. You've had some damage to your parietal lobe, and that can affect long-term memory. Listen, the brain's still a bit of a mystery. You might get it all back. But probably not. Let's try to be positive. Now, I've got uh, one more test to run, then you can convalesce at home. You hear that, baby? I'm taking you home. <laughs> right here. Excuse me. My friend and I are a little confused. We'd like to know where the fuck you're going. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Come on, man, that's mine. We had a fucking deal. He doesn't make deals with whores. What's going on? Tables have turned, haven't they, Jimmy? 
Now I know all about you. But you don't know shit about me. The money asshole. Oh! Okay, keep it. You know, the boss really took it out on me when he found out you were still alive. Should have stayed dead, Jimmy. Only joy here is I get to kill you twice. <laughs> Get in the car. Move! Grab her keys. Where you been? It was a fucking setup. What? Yeah, the asshole started shooting. Shit. Where's my car? Car? They try to kill me. Who's this? The guy from the hospital. What the hell did you bring him here for? Because I wanted to. Of course you wanted to. Don't you ever think? Don't you ever use your head? That's the dude that they're after. So I couldn't just leave him on the street? Jesus Christ, Marcus, he helped me get away. I'll go. No. Oh, let him go. Because you and I got a lot of business to take care of. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm Well, maybe I don't want to do business with you no more. All right, go ahead. You try hooking without me. Because you're going to need more than a rubber to protect your little ass. 
Come on. All right, all right, all right. Shit. What do you need? Cash? Place to stay? That'd be nice. Well, that'd be nice. That sounds pretty fucking A-grade to me. Quit busting his balls. Hey, I'm doing what you want. So you just shut the hell up. I'm gonna set you up. Make a few phone calls. Then I want you to stay the hell away from Candy, and you stay the hell away from me. You dig? Yeah. Yeah. You're a smart dude. I mean, you didn't help her escape from that garage just to put her life back in danger, right? What are you doing? We never told him we were in a garage. He's with them. What? Come on, this is Marcus. Look, my man, I don't know what the hell your deal is. I'm with you. Oh, my God. It's them. Everything that you wanted, man. Now we don't need you anymore. Let's go. He was so stupid getting involved with him in the first place. You did, and obviously I did too. Let's go. It's not safe. I can't go with you. Look, I got this aunt in Arizona. I think I should go stay with her. You're a real nice guy, and I feel real sorry for you. But I gotta look after myself, you know? Those guys are after you, not me. Don't kid yourself. You're a loose end just like this Marcus. They won't find me. I'll... You'll what? Hide. Look, with or without me, they'll find you. Now, I haven't seen you fight, but I'd say you're better off with me. You know, Marcus wasn't all that bad. He took real good care of me for a long time. Hey, no big loss, right? This one's a little tricky. Los Angeles. You have a number for a Jim Stanton. S-T-A-N-T-O-N. -T what? Are you sure? Could, could you just try again? Uh-huh. Yeah. You're unlisted. Well, you seem like a guy would be unlisted, given the people you're dealing with. Then how do I find out who I am? Well, you can tell a lot about a person just by looking at him. Like the way they dress. I do it every night. 
Okay. So what do you want to know? This is stupid. You're wearing an Italian designer suit, approximate price, a thousand bucks. The shirt's tailor-made, definitely not from a department store. Figure tack on another 300 for that. Not to mention the alligator skin belt, which is good for at least another 100, 150. So? So? You're not from East L.A. Uh-uh. You got cash up the wazoo. Just how come you can afford to send your shirts out to be pressed? How do you know that? Because this is linen. It's a bitch to iron, trust me. Oh, that ring must have cost a pretty penny, too, but it's 18 karat. Let me see. Tiffany's. There's a clue. Not too shabby. Of course, the meltdown value is going to be a shitload less than what you paid for. Still, if you wanted to hawk this, you can get a lot of money for it. <laughs> hey, I said if you wanted. I wish I could remember. Hey, come on, we'll figure it out. I'm on a roll here, okay? Still haven't told you what I think of your shoes yet. Tell me our problem has been solved. We don't know where he is. A parasite will destroy a garden. It must be weeded out. Maybe it's time you do the gardening yourself. Call me when you find him. My wife and I are looking for something special for her birthday. <laughs> How about that? This one. Oh, baby, I love it. It's diamond and onyx in an 18 karat gold setting. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh -huh. Guess we'll take it. Oh. Well, that was easy. Cash or charge? Charge. Well, what's wrong, honey? My wallet. Damn, I must have left it at home. Oh, no. Listen, I bought this here, and I can't even begin to tell you what else. Could you just punch my information up on the computer? Well, I suppose we could do that if you do have an account here. Your name, sir? James Stanton. Mr. Stanton. I almost didn't recognize you with the hair. Marie, that's all right. I'll take care of Mr. Stanton. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Lovely piece. Excellent taste, as usual. Why don't I ring you up? You know, um, I should make sure you have my new address. Well, I suppose we wouldn't want the bill going to the wrong place, now would we? <laughs> okay. One, two, four, four, Osborne, number 36, Century City, California. Is that correct? That's it. That'll be 5,300 on your account. You're all set. Thanks. Thank you. Here. You hold on to it. I don't know. I mean, I give it back. I don't want you to. What? You mean you're not going to return it? No way. Are you serious? For helping me. Let's go.
Looks like you've had some practice at this. Wow. Cool pad. Any of this look familiar to you? something? Office, Mr. Bad Taste in Music? Disco, anyone? It's <laughs> my wife. Yeah. I don't Both know. Leaders. If she yeah. doesn't come back, Six, three, I'm moving eight. in. We have your clothes here. 40 days now. Come pick up and pay. Thank you. What is it? You remember them? Hey, come on. It's no big deal. I wish I could forget my parents. When I was seven, my mom took me to my cousin's for the weekend so she could get her head together or some bullshit like that. And she never came back. So you gotta look at it like you're lucky. I mean, you can make them anything you want. Do you have my wallet? No. No, I hope you didn't lose it. That's okay. We're going back up. Oh! <laughs> 
Goddamn traitor. Agent Corey Blake, NSA. You're both under arrest for treason against the United States government. Come on, let's go. Inside. Listen to me. I don't remember you. You're gonna have to do better than that, Mikey. Thank you, Doctor. You really don't know me, do you? No. He's one of the lucky ones. I should have known you wouldn't turn on us. Uncuff him. Your name is Michael Wilkes. One of our best agents. Get out. You're also one of my best friends. You've been working undercover using an alias. Jim Stan. So you know. All I know is two Asian guys have been trying to kill me. It's a lot more than two. Part of a Chinese smuggling operation. Up until a month ago, you had them believing you were one of them. They must have found out who you really were. They tried to kill you before you could report back. Report back what? We're here. Any code? You lost me. You were uh, close to busting a U.S. official who'd been selling you advanced military weapons for this man, Philip Kwan. You were his buyer. What does that have to do with the phone messages? A week ago, 10 nuclear warheads were scheduled to be dismantled and destroyed at a weapons installation in Maryland. Part of this. Uh, post-Cold War house cleaning. Well, the nukes were dismantled, all right. But before they could be destroyed, two canisters of plutonium were suddenly missing. Now, we think one of the messages is the U.S. official making contact, trying to sell plutonium to you. Wouldn't this Quan have told him I'm NSA? <laughs> he can't. You see, Quan doesn't know how to contact this U.S. official. Only you did. That way, nobody could ever link Quan to shit. No. This U.S. dumb fuck still thinks everything's business as usual. Now, I know you've been through a lot. But you got to help me nail this bastard and get the plutonium back. But I don't remember any of this. He won't know that. As far as he knows, you're a Chinese operative named Jim Stanton. A guy who has made a shitload of money selling out Uncle Sam. You're rich. You're loyal. And you are dead serious when it comes to business. $600,000 here. Now you tell him it's whatever amount he wants. You won't have time to count it. Hello. <laughs> What's going to happen to me after all this? We can offer you protection. Actually, uh, we're prepared to relocate both of you. Even set you up with new identities. I'm still trying to get used to this one. Okay. I just got to know that you're with us. Before I do any of this... I need to see my wife. 
what makes you think you have a wife. You mean he doesn't? Part of your cover. Makes you seem more reliable. Buddy, you like... You love being single. When this thing is over with, you and me, we'll hit some of our hot spots. Then you'll see why. What about my parents? They, um... They passed away some time ago. Look, uh... Why don't you take a moment before we get started? No. I'm not ready for this. Mikey, I wouldn't be asking you if it wasn't important. Hey, Louis, lying to you. This is Michael Wilkes. Listen to me. There's been a raid. Who do you wish to contact, sir? I don't know. Someone, anyone. I need a name. Look, I work for you people. Identification. I told you, Michael Wilkes. Identification, please. Look, I, I know what you're talking about. Just listen to me. This junkyard hideout, whatever you call it, it's been attacked. Everyone's been killed. You must identify yourself. I have. Look, don't tell me you don't know about this junkyard place. Sir, it is a federal offense to misrepresent who you are. Jesus, are you listening to what I'm telling you? If you were affiliated with the agency, you'd know standard procedure. couple hundred dollars out of the briefcase. It's enough to pay for the room and get you on a bus to Arizona. But I thought you said that... Get what I said. I don't really have an aunt in Arizona. I don't really have anybody. I guess you think I'm this big liar now. But I'm not. Is there anything else I should know? 
No. I left you some money on the dresser. Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. You're, you're going through with it, aren't you? What changed your mind? I don't think plutonium should just be out there floating around. Well, what about them giving protection and relocating us? We're going to get that. Just go back inside. I'm coming with you. No! I don't want you getting killed. What's this now? Selective memory? You'd be dead by now if it wasn't for me. Thanks. Thanks? Fuck your thanks. Look, what do you want? I want you to stop trying to get rid of me. I thought I could protect you. But after yesterday... What? A woman had to protect you? Maybe that makes us a good team. Quit trying to break it up. So you come in like that? I don't know. I may change into the shower curtain. Excuse me. Hmm. Could you tell Dr. Cole Jim Stanton is here? Oh, sure. Uh, what time was your appointment? I don't have one, but I think he'll want to see me. Stanton, that's right. You were supposed to call to reschedule. Could you just tell him I'm here? No, I, I, he's with a patient right now. Patient? Don't you think you're overdoing it a little? What do you mean? I'll just wait till he's finished with this patient. Hold on. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and just schedule something for another day? Did you tell him I was here? Yes, I did. And he suggested that we go ahead and make an appointment for you just like everybody else. Okay, so, um, how about three weeks from today? Is 2.30 okay? I'll have to get back to you. <laughs> this has to be it. Wait. We gotta use our heads. Whoever's inside is expecting one person. Me. Five minutes. Mr. Stanton. It's about time you show up. I know. Should we make the exchange here? Yeah. You pay cash? First, I want to see what I'm getting. One moment. Mr. Wong?
What are you doing back here? Here. Twenty-two dollars. Let's go. What happened? Nothing. That's just it. How can that be? The NSA said... That they were wrong. Shit. Now what? I don't know. I know it. Those assholes aren't going to relocate us. They will. Not without the plutonium. What? We're fucked all because of two messages and some goddamn answering machine. That's it. What's it? Did you give me this bracelet? You deserve it. Well, if things were different, if, like, we met at some bar or a club, you think you might, you know, come up to me, buy me a drink or something? Yeah, I'd buy you a drink, but I think I'd be scared off by what you do. Well, what if I didn't do that? It's itchy as hell. Let's make it quick. Okay, I showed you mine. Now you show me yours. Don't look. Just run out the back. She can't. I got a man out there, too. of a little hoax. Jim here no longer works for me. It's mine! The money's marked. He's in with the feds. You try spending that, they'll be all over you. I take that to protect our business. Yeah, right. He's just trying to have it all for nothing. It's true. It's not true. It stays with me until I get my end. You're dealing directly with me now. I'll pay you. He's scamming you. Quiet! Deal's off. Let's go.
Sir, I need to check those. Thank you. You okay? What floor is the NSA on? Fifth floor. Watch your own mate up, did you? That's okay. Because if you do, you know, you gotta take off that do not disturb sign. Oh, we see that. <laughs> we don't even knock. Thanks. Oh, someone called for you. But uh didn't leave a message. Male or female? It was a guy. Yeah, I'm sure he'll call back. Curveball over the inside corner, strike one. Have a nice day. Yeah.
Remember where you came from. Then go right back. I don't want any excuses. I want him dead. She's dead. So are you. Have you forgotten all I've done for you? I think you know the answer to that. Why don't you just give me the plutonium? The same reason I didn't give it to your men at the NSA. What, then? Yeah, right. I guess them put me in the hospital just slips your mind, too. I don't know what you're talking about. Open it. Dry here. All right, look left for me. Now over to the right. I'll come back. You're not going there, are you? Something's not right. Got to find out what's going on. No, wait. Jim, don't go. Hold on. Don't do it. We'll be back. Let's look at your eye. Look up.
are you doing here? I found him. Seems we both came back from the dead, huh? Drew Washington, NSA division chief. What's going on? You with him? Where's the plutonium, my friend? What the hell's going on here? Those guys work for Quan. No, they don't. We just made you think that they did. You work for Quan. What? You're a Chinese operative named Jim Stanton. That's my cover. No, that's who you are. I wouldn't work for Quan. But you did. You were helping him smuggle arms out of the country. We caught you. Tried to make you talk. You went to escape and pow. You don't shoot someone when you're trying to make talk. We had no other choice. You were going to get away. Next thing I know, the plutonium is stolen in Maryland. Headed straight towards you. You were their contact. Only problem was you were lying comatose in county hospital. We were fucked. End of story. Or almost end of story. You see, my friend, you woke up. When I realized that you didn't remember anything, I got this brilliant idea. We could tell you anything we wanted. Make you work for us. Hell, Quan didn't even know where you were. Then why have these two guys been trying to kill me? <laughs> they weren't really. They're nice guys. We just needed to make you believe that you're in more danger than you were from Quan. That's the only way I can make sure you'd play ball. I don't buy it. Too perfect. The hell it was. Quan really did want you dead. He thought you betrayed him. The next thing I know, Blake and some of my best men are massacred all for you. Now, does that sound perfect? What about her? Michelle? She was your tour guide. Just in case you started to remember. Hell of a performance. You ought to promote her. Trouble is, she doesn't know when to stop acting. Are you going to tell me where you put the plutonium or not? I don't remember. Okay. Let's watch the television. trying to make sure the plutonium doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Now I know you want that too. We just want to return it to where it came from. See, that gets to the bank by Monday. What's going to happen to him? Hopefully he'll rot in prison. But he helped us. He deserves at he least... He deserves nothing. I can't believe you're saying this. Did you sleep with the guy? No. Well, the way you're talking, it sounds like you did. 
Damn it, Drew, he helped us. Oh, yeah, he helped us all right. You don't even know what he's like anymore. What are you trying to tell me? The guy gets shot in the head, and now you're saying he's Mother Teresa. Michelle, Michelle, it's late, and you're tired. Go home and get some rest. Good night. Sorry about this. You won't be here long, though. I'm working on getting you immunity. I think you've done enough. You know, when you sign up for this job, you think you're going to be catching these scumbags that deserve everything they get. Somehow, it didn't work out that way. I wanted to tell you. I really did. Yeah, well, whatever. By the way, I really do have an aunt in Arizona. And my parents really did run out on me. You didn't really think I'd let you stand trial, did you? That would cause a lot of unnecessary concern about how I run my department. time off. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I was given some thought about what you said concerning Jim. So I just came back to let him know that I'll take care of everything. Really? Really. How about you? Um, nothing. Uh, he gave me something. I was just going to return it. Well, he's asleep now. You can do it in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk you down the hall. Okay. Everything is going to be just fine. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Not so tough now, are you, Jimmy?
Sam! Talk to me! Who knows that karate crap? walk you're throwing away everything here everything no i'm just getting it all back <sighs> come on Where are we going? I don't know. You expect me to believe that? What do you mean? How do I know this isn't one of your tricks? Now do you believe me? You did this for the money? anymore. God, that bullet to the head sure made you dumb. <laughs> 